in today's episode of what I've learned today. Well, actually, I learned this a few days ago, but uh, I didn't find any time to record. Um, I don't know if that's really interesting, but I was trying this the other day and I realized after looking at pictures, after looking at other things, you know, people, because I was struggling really hard with her eyes and her whole face, I will, that I realized that uh, I had to change the eye shape. And as you can see, her eyes are pretty much almond shape even though she's looking to the side so what I was doing is even though the, the characters were looking to the side I was just drawing the eye like this what I should have done draw the eye like this so this quickly became this and then with a little more practice and became this her jaws are a little messed up I'm working on how I have to draw the side of the face the cheek and everything to not look so weird. This is this was also a few days ago, so I uh, worked a little more on Caleb. I'm unsure of how I want his hair to look like. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know yet. And then I worked on Terra, which was previously Sage. I worked on her. I wanted her to tread dreadlocks. Tried a couple things, didn't want that to work. So now I'm at it is. I've done a lot more today. So I worked on this one a lot. I tried her jaw, I tried ugh, it was a torture. And then I sometimes if you can't draw something, try again. Like leave it by side and like draw something else. It helps me a lot. So then I drew this, which looks a lot better, I think. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, I, I haven't done that much. The past days, apparently, at least it doesn't look like much. I've learned a lot though, so, so I'm gonna have to work more on shaping faces and features. I had a lot of trouble with noses. I think I said that in my last video, that I didn't know how, how I wanted to draw the noses and I think I've got it now. And I've got a pretty good idea of how I want to draw the noses. I don't know if that's interesting, but I basically draw the nostrils, and then I draw the septum, and then I draw a nostril, and then I draw the nose thingies, I don't know what they're called in English, and then I draw a line underneath. And for Maya, she has like a very round nose. I just draw a little bit of a ball on the top here. I tried drawing her dreadlocks with ponytail. It just doesn't look right. Um, so she's just having like a half updo kind of thing, mostly because I can't draw ponytails <laughs> at all. Like, ugh. I really like this one of Caleb, like this one, but I just can't draw him too well yet. And I want, I don't know if I want his hair to be like that. And, uh, I always forget to draw his scar, it bothers me so much. I don't know, I haven't drawn him enough, I guess. He has like a scar on his neck, and I always forget to draw it. <sighs> I sometimes forget to draw her bandage here, but not always. So that's already pretty good. Yeah. And then I have to figure out what kind of clothing style I want them to wear. Like a very hard part. So I have like these these pages dedicated to their clothes. She has a bunch of them, but I don't know if I like all of them too much. I do like this uh, kind of stuff, and I don't know, we'll see. <coughs> this is awkward, by the way. Hey, so, so, <laughs> wait. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I asked my sister to share on her community tab that I was sending postcards, Christmas cards to people, so they could DM me on Instagram and send me their addresses and everything, and I did send a lot of Christmas cards and someone unfortunately did send me their address and asked for a friend and I was like yeah sure if that friend is okay with you giving me their address and now I've been contacted uh, I think yesterday or the day before by that friend who had no idea who doesn't know this person and just got a freaky card in the mail from a stranger unwarranted and is just freaking out because people are apparently sharing their address and that's not okay and it's sad and i just wanted to do a good thing and people abused it, it sucks i agree was that short enough yeah <laughs> so guys if, if that was one of you which it probably was because it's um like the message said uh, you came from them like 
if you don't know a person, like, don't give out their address. Like, that's a p person's home. People, like, how do I say that? Like, that's not something you do. Like, yeah, you don't just give out people's addresses like that. And certainly not on the internet, stuff like that, so. Especially after I specifically asked, yeah, if your friend is okay with you giving me their address, and they were like, yeah, it's okay. Well, clearly it wasn't. <coughs> Anything else to add, Liza? LeBron go out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's pretty much all the progress I've made on the floor plan so far. So this is the attic. Um, I'm gonna put it like on white background so you can see. Alright, so this is the attic. Um, we got stairs coming up here and then coming up here and then here's a door. Here's some more stairs. Uh, we got one bed. That's probably gonna be Eli's bed. I, I'm pretty sure I want to have them both in the same room and this is gonna be Caleb's bed. So they're gonna have like, a, they're gonna share a room. And then here we have a couch. There's not a lot in here yet, but I want to uh, like add maybe a desk and closet here. Like a few things here and there, of course. I don't know if I've told you what this room is, but but if I have not, then it's gonna be a surprise. So then we have the ground floor. Uh, we got everything the same, but here I added the kitchen and the dining room. We got a walk-in freezer here. You can open it from both sides. And then in the back, there's like a secret door. Was I even filming this? I don't know. But there's like a secret door. And then you go down these stairs here, which leads us to the next floor plan. Oh, that's not the one. Oh yeah, that's the one go down these stairs and then you come into a huge room which is bigger than the ground floor so that's the basement and as you can see it's bigger and it's going to be filled with like weapons and like training stuff so they can train uh, fighting so then the last floor plan here which is the uh, second floor uh, for the bedrooms. Um, I haven't changed a lot, but I've added like a few beds here and there. I'm probably gonna be Maya's and Tara's room. Uh, I've been trying to know how I want to make Milena look. Uh, I don't know. It's not really... I've been trying to like research where vampires come from and what the story is, but there's like a lot of different things. So... I don't know what ethnicity I want to make her. I had her be a redhead. I don't know if that's still going to be on because I think that uh, Tara has to be a redhead since she is Celtic. And is that how you say it, Celtic? I think. <laughs> Sorry if I say that wrong, but I, because I, I researched where uh, witches come from. So, and I researched like Celtic woman and they were all redheads. So I don't know, like, I don't really know a lot of stuff about people and like where they come from. I don't really care that much, but now I need to care because of my story. So <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem because I, us I usually don't care about that at all. And now I have to care about it a lot. So, and I want to put like a lot of different things in there because I want it to be about like, so much like the entire world and everything and very interestingly like intertwined with everything and and all, all sorts of creatures so if you know anything about that like i'm pretty sure they're not all redheads right so i don't know i think she should have like dark hair i didn't know uh caleb we have we looked at this already i didn't know i've been uh having two choices for his last name he's going to be let me just check for a second here. Yeah, I guess it's just American. So we got Huntley and Holter. I don't know, like a cable, C Caleb Huntley. Caleb Holter. I think Huntley sounds better. Then I was trying to draw Milena more. So then I tried drawing Milena as a black girl. I like how she looks, but she has more of like a badass look on her face and all that. And Milena is just not badass, so that's not gonna work out too well. So I was training a little bit on drawing the faces and the heads and all that. And I posted this on my Insta story, but basically what I did was I just drew her the way I normally would. I mean, this is especially not good, but like I tried out how she would look like with black hair. That's not the point. Uh, but um, after when I was done, I marked everything that I want, like I saw was wrong with the picture. So I marked like chin down and like her eyebrows up and then stuff like that. Like her um, forehead was way too small, obviously. And like 
stuff like that. So then I redrew her, um, marked my mistakes again and like what needs to be corrected, yada yada. And then I drew her again and then that's what it's like. So this was like all done in like, I'd say half an hour. Step one, step two, step three pretty much to make it look a little bit better. I'm still not completely done, but I, I'm pretty satisfied with this right now because it looks the most like I always imagined her. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this week or these two weeks. I'm really, really sorry that I didn't feel like uploading last week. There was a lot going on still with the holidays and everything. I did not upload a video, obviously. I, uh, what uh, was I going to say? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I wanted to buy a new camera for a long time now, but I don't have the money. Um, if you could look at the camera that I'm holding right now, it's like ridiculous. This thing's completely broken. Um, so I need a new one, uh, but I don't have any money. So if you guys would like to commission me, that's how it's gonna go. I have an email address that um, I'm gonna put in the description and in right here. It's gonna be written. You can send an email to this email address and you can put in whatever you want. You can put in nothing and then, uh, or just say I'm interested in having one commission and then I'm gonna send you the chart, chart that I'm gonna have to make still where it's gonna tell you like from what you can choose and how much it's gonna cost you, etc. how it's gonna be done. But I can explain to you right now, I'm gonna do three different things, like a uh, sketch, inked, like black and white and colored. It's all gonna be A5 size paper. So that's half of A4. I will sign the paper I will mail it to you in the mail. You will get this original paper uh, sent to you, to your house or whatever. Uh, the, the payment is gonna be over PayPal. Only one person per like drawing, like only one person. And like to the waist or like, like headshot, like how you want it depends on you. But I'm not gonna like draw a family of people. That's gonna be a lot of work, so I'm not gonna do that. So it's like one person per drawing or your animal, whatever you want me to draw, I'm gonna, like if you tell me I wanna have a drawing of this and this, and then I'm gonna, ans I'm gonna answer you the chart, or I'm gonna tell you that that's not gonna be possible if I can't draw that. If it's something really intricate, like, oh, I would like to, for you to draw me this, this, and this, it's not gonna happen, like. <laughs> uh, also, something pretty exciting that I have thought about is I wanted to give you the chance of getting your own speed paint. So what you can do is basically you can order and commission me a drawing and from this drawing you can beforehand tell me and order a speed paint with this drawing. I will film the entire process of me drawing it. I will cut a speed paint for you together. You can choose any music you want me to cut it to and put it on and I'll send you that per mail and then you have your own personal speed paint for your own commissioned artwork. You can see me draw it. You can put the music that you, that you want, love the most on it, like your favorite song or whatever, but that's gonna be costing a little bit more. Like that's not gonna be like the same cost of the commission. And you're gonna have to pay for the commission itself and the video. So you can't just have the video because I'm gonna have to draw it too. So yeah. If you want to help me out with this camera, then please email me. And I'm gonna be very glad and happy if you do so. That will help me out so much. Very thankful. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to follow me on my journey of becoming a comic artist, then don't forget to subscribe and put on the bell so you get notified and whatever. You know how it goes. So until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!